सो एल एवरी वन माय नेम इज तेजस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सेल्फ स्टडी विथ तेजस एंड इफ यू आर पैशनेट अबाउट मैथमेटिक्स एंड एमिंग टू एक्सेल इन दी आई एम ओ एग्जाम देन यू आर इन दी राइट प्लेस सो डे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न आई एम ओ चैप्टर फाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलिमेंट्री शेप्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो चैप्टर नंबर फाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलिमेंट्री शेप्स मैथमेटिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ मेनी डिग्रीज डज दी अवर हैंड ऑफ अ क्लॉक टर्न इन फाइव मिनट्स सो वी नो दैट दी अवर हैंड रोटेट्स हाफ डिग्री इन वन मिनट so half degree in 1 minute so they have asked how many degrees will it move in 5 minutes so here half plus half again half half plus half and then here half so half half 1 and then here 2 and after that 2 and a half so our correct answer here will be option number d 2 and a half degrees second question the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock at 325 is slash n so we know that this is a acute angle so our correct answer here will be option number a acute angle now third question which of the following statement is slash r correct so a a parallelogram in which two adjacent angles are equal in a rectangle so yes this is a correct statement after that b a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite angles are equal is a parallelogram so yes this is also correct now third in a parallelogram the maximum numbers of acute angles can be two so yes this is also correct so Uh, uh all the three statements are here correct which means our correct answer here will be option number d fourth question in case of an isosceles triangle dash a two sides are equal b all the uh, all the angles are equal c both a and b or d neither a nor b so in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal which means our correct answer here will be option number a now fifth question find the measure of an angle for one fourth revolution so one for uh, one uh, revolution is 360 degree and if we divide 360 degree by 4 which is 90 degrees which means the measure of an angle is 90 degrees for one fourth revolution so our correct answer here will be option number d sixth question how many right angles will you make if you if you face south and turn clockwise to east so first we will draw a simple compass like this so this is north this is east this is south and this is west so if a person uh, has to go to east but with a uh, clockwise direction so first uh, first right angle the second right angle and this is the third right angle so he will make three right angles uh, uh, when you face from south and turn clockwise to east so our correct answer here will be option number b 3 now seventh question line pq is perpendicular to line rs is symbolically written as dash so if any line is perpendicular then it has a sign like this which means our correct answer here will be option number a now eighth question the perpendicular bisector of a line segment is a perpendicular to the line segment that divides it into dash equal parts so here this line is dividing this line into two equal parts so our correct answer here will be option number b 2 ninth question which of the following statement is incorrect a each diagonal of a quadrilateral divides it into two triangles so yes this is a correct statement now b each side of a quadrilateral is less than the sum of the remaining three sides so yes this is also correct now see a quadrilateral can have at most three angles so this is a incorrect statement which means our cor correct answer here will be option number c now 10th question which of the following triangles is isosceles right angle triangle so isosceles triangles have two equal uh, two equal lines so here we can see that both are equal and this is the sign of a right angle tri uh, uh, triangle so our correct answer here will be option number a so 11th question name the given figure so this figure has 
टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव साइड्स विच मीन्स इट इज़ अ पेंटागॉन सो अवर करेक्ट आंसर इज यर ऑप्शन नंबर सी नाउ ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी लेटर्स हैव दी परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स इन दी गिवन वर्ड सो फर्स्ट वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन आफ्टर दैट दिस इज अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन आफ्टर दैट इज फुल विथ परपेंडिकुलर्स एंड नाउ ए डिजेंट हैव अ परपेंडिकुलर and t is also perpendicular which means four letters have perpendicular lines so our correct answer here will be option number c now 13th question the measure of a reflex angle is dash than 180 degree and dash than 360 degree so a reflex angle is greater than 180 degree so first it will come greater and after that and dash than 360 degree so every angle is smaller than 360 degree which means reflex angle uh, will be also smaller which means greater comma smaller so our correct answer here will be also option number c now 14th question which of the following quadrilaterals does not have any difference in measurement between its length and breadth so square doesn't have any uh any difference in its measurement between its length and breadth so our correct answer here will be option number a now 15th question a parallelogram with all equal sides is called dash so a parallelogram with all equal sides is a rhombus and square also which means our correct answer here will be option number d both a and c now 16th question if a bicycle wheel makes four and half turns then the number of right angles through which it turns is so considering this is a wheel and 1 2 so here are now total four angles and now 4 4 ja will be 16 and after that half so 4 into half will be 2 so 16 plus 2 will be 18 which means it makes a total of 18 right angles through which it turns so our correct answer here will be option number b 18 Now 17th question a quadrilateral having one and only one pair of parallel sides is called dash so a quadrilateral having one and only one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium but in this option trapezium is not present so our correct answer here will be option number d none of these now 18th question which of the following statements is not true for a rhombus a all sides are equal b diagonals are equal so if we draw a rhombus so this is a diagonal and this is a diagonal so we can see that this one is longer than this one which means the diagonals are not equal in a rhombus so our correct answer here will be option number b now 19th question select the correct option a two pairs of parallel sides trapezium so no this is an incorrect statement now b a rhombus with four right angles rectangle so rhombus has no right angles and it is not also called as rectangle now see parallelogram with four right angles rectangle so yes this is a correct statement which means our correct answer here will be option number c Now twentieth question: Which of the following hands of a clock shows one fourth of a revolution? So, oh, in option number D, it is a right angle, which means one fourth of a revolution. So, our correct answer here will be option number D. So, twenty first question: How many right angles are formed when our hand of a clock moves from A two to eight, B six to nine? So, uh, if we make it to two. it is a 180 degree and 180 degree has two right angles which means uh, to 2 to 8 it will be two right angles and now after that it is b 6 to 9 so this is 6 and this is 9 so only one right angle is forming here which means our correct answer here will be option number d now 22nd question study the given figure carefully and match the following so a o b so this is the uh, line a o b and it is a acute angle which means acute angle and after that it will be uh, now it is a o e so a o and e so it is a right angle which means 
uh, it will be third one and now c a o c so a o c is an obtuse angle so i v now d1 b o d so b o d so it is a straight angle so which means first one so now we have to choose the correct option from it so 2 has uh, a is a will go to 2 b will go to 3 so yes our correct answer here will be option number c so question number 23 a man is standing facing north in which direction will he face if he makes a one and a half revolution clockwise so first we will draw a compass so north south east and west so one full revolution and after that he is going half degree clockwise so half so it is now facing south which means first will be south and after that b 3 by 4 revolution anti clockwise so again we will draw compass north south east west so now we have to go 3 4 anti clockwise which means we have to go like sorry like this so 1 2 3 so now he is facing east which means after that it will be east so our correct answer here will be option number c now 24th question if the sum of two angles is greater than 180 degree then which of the following is not possible for the two angles a one obtuse angle and one acute angle so yes it's possible now b one reflex angle and one acute angle so this is also possible c two obtuse angles so yes this is also possible now d two right angles so two right angle which means one straight 180 degree so it is not more than 180 degree which means this uh, two right angles are not possible so our correct answer here will be option number d now 25th question what type of angle is angle x so angle x is a right angle so our correct answer here will be option number c so achiever section question number 26 state t for true and f for false a a quadrilateral is a five sided polygon so this is incorrect because a quadrilateral is a four sided polygon now b all the four sides of a rhombus are equal so yes this is correct now c a trapezium has all angles equal so this is incorrect now d half of a revolution is a straight line so yes this is also correct which means false true sorry we have done it ha huh, sorry false true and after that it is false and this is true which means ft ft so our correct answer will be our option number b now 27th question what fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from p 9 to 4 so if we see in this clock so here is 9 and here is 4 so in between there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so there are total 7 and in this total there is 12 which means it will be 7 by 12 and after that we have here q which is 8 to 2 so here is 8 and here is 2 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 which means 6 by 12 and uh, if we convert it into its simplest form it will be 1 by 2 now the next is 2 to 11 so here is 2 and here is 11 so in between 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 by 12 which means 3 by 4 so here is 3 by 4 and after that s 11 to 10 so 11 is here and after that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 and and so so there are total total by total 12 so 11 by 12 which means our correct answer will be here option number c now 20th question filling the blanks first the opposite sides of a parallelogram are p and q so the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and 
parallel which means our correct answer could be from option number C D or A now second a quadrilateral having only one pair of opposite sides parallel is called so it is called a trapezium which means our correct answer could be from option number C or D now third a parallelogram having all the sides equal is called a dash so a parallelogram which has all the sides equal is called a rhombus which means our correct answer will be her option number C now 29th question read the given statements carefully and select the correct option statement 1 in the given figure the number of obtuse angles is 4 so this one obtuse angle and this one obtuse angle which means we can only make two obtuse angle in this figure and here it is written 4 which means this is false and now statement 2 if the angle between the two intersecting lines is a right angle then the lines are parallel so uh, we can see that this is forming a perpendicular shape which means if the angle between two intersecting lines is a right angle then the lines are perpendicular not parallel which means this statement is also false which means statement 1 and statement 2 both are false which means a correct answer will be here option number b now 30th question which of the following statements is correct a a right angle is half of a revolution so this is incorrect because a straight angle is half of a revolution now b a straight angle is one fourth of a revolution so this is incorrect because a right angle is one fourth of a revolution now see the measure of a reflex angle is greater than that of a straight angle so yes this is correct which means our correct answer will be here option number c so if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you